But look at the detail in here. You've got all the weather radars and someone's watching YouTube there. Um, so, um, naughty, naughty. Look, look, look. They've put NZA on the cup. Hello, Flight Simulator fans. Welcome back to another Practically Geek video. You join me on approach to Rotorua Airport here in the north of New Zealand. We're on the North Island, I think that's what they call it. Uh, but we're on the, the very, very top island of New Zealand. As I say, coming into Rotorua Airport. As always, I will be landing into the default scenery to show you around. Give you a good idea of the changes that have been made by the team. Uh, and we'll go into the drone camera and have a little look around the airport, the buildings, a bit of the surrounding areas uh, because these freeware sceneries do end up showing you uh, and sorry, adding in some of the better details on the surrounding area, especially the, the boundary fences. So I'm going to land this Cessna one, uh, 152 into Rotorua now, park up head into the drone camera as always so if you just uh, sit back and enjoy the rest of this landing enjoy it only if um, <laughs> if I can actually land it good Bit of a bouncy one today. Um, not the, <laughs> not the best one. Done. Oh, that's never really happened. I've never really had the um, the radio con uh, the, the control tower. Say that the uh, the ATC rather. That's a bit odd. Um, well, we'll 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 park up anyway. Take the next taxiway, as he's saying. <laughs> um, I won't be doing that today, guys. I don't even know why it's doing that. Um, I don't usually do it just for the sake of the the ATC get interrupting the video, but I'm sure uh, I can sort that out. I'm just going to park up, and I'm then going to. I did hear you, but I'm trying to do a video. Thank you. Just gonna park up here so I can stop that and I will jump into the drone camera as soon as possible. Okay, so we're now in the drone camera. And compared to some of the default airports I've looked at in the past couple of videos, it's a bit more lively in terms of static aircraft. Of course, the other airports that I did um, kind of look at were, I'd, I'd say, general aviation airports, so um, nothing on this scale. From what I've seen of this airport, everything seems to be in place. The buildings on here, certainly, they, they, they are there. Uh, but, of course, they would not look like that. The um, ground texturing isn't great. The What I would say is the surrounding road area is one of the better ones I've seen up until it gets to about here and looks like... It glitches out into kind of dirt track almost. Um, so it's not the worst one. It's not the best one. It's you know it's it's still a default airport. There's no uh, boundaries to it. You know the boundary fences. The surrounding area is a bit better than I've seen in terms of the the roads. You can actually make out roundabouts and road markings. But again, it's it's still not the greatest. We have some. Um, it looks like buildings in the satellite imagery here. So hopefully the guys have added those in. We do have uh, a lot of um, turnarounds here for a, a, any aircraft to kind of use at multiple points down the runway, which is good. This airport, I think, does enable. Uh, airliners uh, i've certainly seen pictures of a320s in there the download page for this particular airport does show a, a, a new zealand air airlines a320 parked up and it, the, the air runway is probably looks around the same size as i would say maybe liverpool my local airport runway maybe a bit bigger um 
so yeah, not the worst. There's this big kind of another another section of um, unused concrete asphalt there randomly. These scattered auto gem buildings are some of the worst placements I've seen. They just seem to be like someone's just randomly dropped them there. It's just that that is bad. <laughs> the airport terminal does look like an airport terminal though, which is quite good. Um, the roof especially there's a lot you know a lot of detail and reflections there so that's not too bad it's it's one of the better ones i've seen um the hangers don't look great they don't look like hangers especially plain hangers this one does but again the placement isn't great uh, i am key i am really excited to see this in person now i have seen pictures this is certainly definitely an a, a on-site car park for um people traveling out and obviously staff and stuff like that i have seen pictures as i say and it does excite me because there is some internal texture and um internal kind of objects in there that you can go inside the terminal and have a look so um without further ado we're going to go into the freeway airport and see what they have done with it and i am very very excited to see it Okay, we are back in Rotorua Airport in the north of New Zealand. I have loaded the simulator back up, but now into the NZA uh, simulations version of the airport. And already you can see there's a massive difference. I, I've started just behind my Cessna 152. You can uh, see that the ground textures have gone darker. There's a lot of new... Um, airport markings around and um, for me they're a bit too bright i think um the the red especially the red and the yellow is a bit in your face but again a lot better than the default airport for sure we've got as you can see a um welcome to rotorua you've got an actual interior let's let's head inside eh just glitch in got some lovely real pictures here of new zealand that looks in really great and you know they didn't really have to go ahead and do all this i mean it's a bit nuts isn't it but um we can chop ahead into here as well if you like and we can see there is actual baggage reclaim we've got um a gent there looking for his tickets on the self-saving machine new z air uh, new zealand look at that star alliance as well some custom markings air airport markings and a, a departures board here to show you uh when the next plane is going out we've got this really cool walkway with transparent windows lighting in here is really really good and uh, we'll glitch black out back outside to this way we've got an actual outside area now we have a proper car park with um, markings and obviously cars we didn't have that before we've got buses and taxis waiting for people some more passengers here as you can see it's dominated by this really really great custom radio control tower for the atc i'll show you that in just a minute we'll head up um you might see it jing uh, like just of stuttering about um but honestly, um, something I haven't. I do ask for feedback on these <laughs> on these videos at the end of each video. But what I would say, I haven't really gone through kind of uh, what my performance. That would probably be a huge thing to determine. If you had, if you have actually watched my videos, you'll see that performance is okay. There's the odd stutter, but you are talking about an insane level of detail being added to once an already kind of really, really bad kind of default airport and as you can see everything from the outside's been done you know that car looks like it's genuinely going down the road now these roads on this simulator don't look great um but they've gone ahead and redone that that's definitely been retextured because there's none of that kind of dirt track looking thing uh, without ruining the rest of the kind of the out um the, the airport we can see um exterior fencing and brick walls and hedges and again it's it's just typical of nza they they've gone to extreme measures to add in all this insane level of detail the bricks inside there you know 
we saw this in the Napier one. They've got like a little tool station there with you can see the individual tools in there. Forklift pallets. It's it's incredible. Out in more interior fencing, fuel station, you know, all these things that you'd see on the ground, like the um the different levels of tarmac in the ground, you know, all these branded buildings, ABB. It's it's incredible. You know, the, the the airport now looks like a used airport. You know, bins over here, every little bit of space is being used to great effect. And I really do actually love this lovely canopy kind of tunnel area over to this section here. And we've got an A uh, an A320 there, an A320 Neo uh, on its own. Um, looks like it's the kind of bigger space set out for bigger airliners. I can't imagine airliners are a huge um, thing here. Maybe general aircraft and uh, general aviation aircraft and helicopters. Uh, you know, does it look there's a gen here that's glitching out a bit? But again, you know, I can, I can forgive that kind of thing. This guy's pacing up and down with his briefcase waiting for the bus. Uh, if it's anything like UK travel, uh, he'll be waiting there for a long time. Um, these fuel tank. Look at this. Look at these fuel tanks. This, you know, this level of detail with the, you know, the chain link fences and the brickwork, the brick, the the brick wall going around. Um, that fan certainly looks like it's going to be ticketed because it looks like it's on the uh, the entrance barrier there. So, it'll probably be moved on. <laughs> but um, it's you know this is the one of the bigger ones and this even this gravel area. Look this. It just. You know, this is all decoration, and I can imagine just coming off a plane here in Rotorua and seeing this. You know, I definitely have to look up and maybe I'll add it in and see what it looks like. See if see how much the airport. If I can find anything on Google and show you what it looks like, and if it matches up, we can get some cool comparison shots going on in the background now. But uh, if I can't, then they won't be <laughs> but let's move over to the um there's my cessna there let's move over to control tower here we've got some uh fire engines here now the control tower has actually been mapped inside as well look at this there's actual stairs going down to the outside there but look at the detail in here you've got all the weather radars and someone's watching YouTube there um, so um, naughty naughty look, look, look they've put NZA on the cup <laughs> oh that's so cool but look at the, look at the detail inside this airport um, inside this uh, radio control tower looking out here really really great great work and we've been here before but let's just go further down here into the further buildings down here that big long strip of um concrete that wasn't being used obviously has some kind of work sheds inside there perimeter fences the runway's being retextured so it is a lot darker now we've got custom light and better marked better markings on the runway the uh the orange markings down here uh the the um the water masking around here has definitely been changed which is great it looks it looks a lot re more realistic now and i'm really 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 pleased and you can actually see there is another uh, runway here that's a grass strip and it's better marked out now you can actually see it a lot better it's along here for the uh, general aviation this looks like a radar beacon here which isn't in the default scenery that looks really good as well that looks really really great They've added in this uh, area here for there's be more custom things here. Look at this. I mean, this is just on the edge of the airport. You can see there, so it's not, you know, it's it's a bit further away from the airport. But the guys here at NZA have gone in here and detailed the uh, this like dock area for for this boat, and you know they didn't really have to do that. It looks insane. Um, working ourselves round here. It looks a bit too busy to be... That that looks like it's a tunnel that runs up underneath the uh, airport. But, you know, the, we've got, still got exterior fencing going all the way around. You'll see a bit of pop in there for the more detailed bits of grass. But you've got this chain link, chain link fence going all the way around. 
which looks really really good once again these um, different turn, uh, turn around points on the runway are still there but have been retextured they look really really great and and these bits here there's a static helicopter so this is more these these are like um maybe tour and things for like helicopters and small aircraft we've got rafts so you can rent a canoe and stuff like that if you want to go to remote areas of new the north new zealand and that's all been added in look there's a proper little club there they've put the ends of days and sign there for some self-promotion which fair dues <laughs> Volcanic air helicopters and float planes. Seeing this, this looks really great. Little buggies there. The helicopter looks really great. We've got trucks and stuff inside the hangar. You know, and <laughs> this is what you'll see when you maybe land and maybe some maybe fly over the airport. But you know, it's some stuff that they didn't really need to do. Like, did they really need to put those little boxes there? Because you never the pallets rather. The, you're not going to see them. You probably won't even notice them, but that's not the point. They have done it, and it looks amazing. It just adds to how alive the airport feels now. And, you know, if you are making sort of videos like this, or you're taking pictures for your uh, flight simulator Instagram or Twitter, you know, you've got a lot to look at here. You've got, you know, you can stick the camera in the, the control tower and take a really cool sort of... Um, you know, a plane taking off in the background from the ATC and, and in the terminal as well. That'll look amazing. It's absolutely insane the level of detail that these guys managed to cram in. And as I say, something that I didn't mention before is performance. I'm using a RTX 2080 with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a, a i7 9700k which i've put down in the description below they're in it's in every video but i've never mentioned it uh, on a video before and you know i'm i'm getting decent frame rates and nothing under 30 you don't really need people say flight simul flight simulators 30 is perfectly fine 30 fps and up uh, right now i'm getting about 40 um it's a bit bit <sighs> bit lower than what the default scenery gave me but nothing major a few little stutters here and there where it's kind of loading in grass and more detail things but look i mean this is what you're getting compared to what we had before and i'm still getting great performance and when i'm landed it was great but we'll do our normal uh, routine of going into the night weather um then we'll show some we might show some we might even show some windy weather or whatever different weathers this time but let's see what uh, Rotorua looks like at 1 a.m. at night. So we're now at 1 a.m. at night at Rotorua. And one thing I really, really, really like is the little bits of lighting coming through from the interior sceneries. So the radio control tower, you can see the lights off the computers, which is really cool. Um, but definitely the lights inside the terminal building, um, they look really, really cool. So it's obviously some lights coming through over there. That looks really, really great. The, the, the floodlights illuminating the tarmac over here is really, really great. As well as the A320, there's a lot, you know, there's lights coming from that. These little anomaly lights that are definitely roadside lights still don't have any poles on them. I don't think this is anything to do with uh, the creators of any of the freeware scenery that I've shown you before. I think that's just a, you know, it's just, just, <laughs> um, but, you know, it looks insane. Um, I, I think they're just the lights that are meant to be seen from, you know, up above. And you you wouldn't really see the pole uh, the the posts exactly. Uh, I did notice that the the helicopter here has got um, blue and red nav lights on flashing, which is really really cool. As the stat it's even got its uh, floodlights underneath, so you know that looks absolute. Look at that! Look at that through the grass. That's so so cool. I love that. Um, you know these these little bits of interiors here have got lighting underneath as well as the uh, outside ground lights by the shutters here you know 
all look so genuine. Bit of stutter there. Even the even the uh, radar, the radar um, sec it's like station, if that's what you want to call it. Here looks a bit odd. Uh, it looks like it's admitting that the yeah, it looks like it's a bit too bright. The materials, so that's a bit of a uh, but you know <laughs> whatever. If if your scenery looks this good, you're not really bothered, are you? Um, even goes along here to these outside buildings. I would have liked a bit more light on these hangar buildings here and the utility buildings. Certainly these would definitely have some kind of light, even if it's just one security light. Uh, the runway lights look great as ever, uh, as well as the, the blue taxi lights. The surrounding area here looks really, really great. Um, I'm really pleased. It, it, it's just as good as the Westport scenery that I showed you last time from NZA. It it's, um, goes without saying. You can't really not like it. Down to the car park here and the even the bus has lights on it. The outside of the terminal. The, the um, control tower a bit more lit up here, it looks a lot better. Overall it's great, um, as I say a couple of buildings here without any lights which is a bit of a shame but not really gonna take away from anything. The whole area looks like it's, it's meant to be. So let's take a look at some other weathers inside this um, freeware scenery and see what they look like. I can't imagine it's going to be any different. It'll look great as always. The reflections here alone, you can just see that, looks amazing. So let's have a look at some more weathers inside uh, Rotorua Airport by NZA Simulations. So this is the heavy rain preset from uh, Weather Presets Pro, which you can um, find on the uh, Orbex Central or the Orbex Direct uh, program, so and that's it's only around five or six pounds, and it gives you about forty presets. This is the heavy rain preset, and you can see all the tarmac is collecting the rain. The lights and everything are reflecting off onto the rain, and it looks really, really great. This is the humid storms preset. There's no rain, but it's uh, the clouds and the Thunder and lightning look really, really great. Again, striking different sides of the building. And this one's called Big and Bold. I love how the clouds look in this preset. And I really love this um, freeware airport by NZA Simulations. You can cut, you can get this and download it for absolutely free from the flightsim.to website. I'll link it in the description as always. If you are liking my videos and want to see more, um, more freeware airports and, and maybe even some payware stuff like I did with the Wickham Airpark scenery, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to comment and leave some feedback, I'm a, I appreciate any feedback. Um, if you are going to throw any abuse at me, I'll just delete your comments. I don't, I don't, I don't do any of that. Just leave me some, you know, focus criticism and I'll take it on board. Um, but as always, I try to show you what the airports look like as, from default state and then into the freeware state. I want to do some more payware stuff, definitely, even some aircraft as well, because there's more and more on the marketplace right now. Um, but I do like doing the freeware stuff. I like to show you what's available for um, for free and what the creators have done. Um, you know, for these guys to be making stuff and not getting anything back in return is a massive thing. So if you if you do decide to download any of their files, please drop them a couple of pounds in the donation. They always put donation symbols, especially these guys and uh, a couple of the other guys have, have featured. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've, I've been really enjoyed this airport. Definitely recommend it. I'll see you again soon. Um, I don't know what's next, I'll be totally honest. Definitely some more freeware airports and um, maybe even some more flight tours. The last one I did was... Uh, some football stadiums around UK and my little um, my local in my home city of Liverpool I did a flight around the city centre there so 
can go and watch those videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon.